So we're gonna go ahead and get started. Um, you can come to your mat in child's pose if that's available to you. And if that's not available to you, you can just come to any other resting pose of your choice. So we'll do just a few minutes of centering. Just wanna thank everybody for joining me today. I know I have a lot of my PMNR friends here, so welcome mm -hmm. and to everybody else as well. Um, go ahead and come down to your mat. Take the big toes together, the knees wide, and just let your sit bones drop back towards your heels. Arms up overhead is our extended child's pose. Arms, arms back at your sides, just traditional child's pose. If you do not have this much uh, hip and knee bending available to you, you can also just bring your hands to the mat, stacking them, and then leaving your hips up high in puppy pose, we call this. So whatever it is, just kind of dropping back, resting your forehead on your mat, or if that's not available to you, maybe a rolled towel or sweatshirt, whatever you have. And then either blinking your eyes closed or just taking your gaze down. Just taking a few moments to pause to notice your breath. Notice how you feel right now as you come to your mat today. Notice any mind chatter. Notice any tension that you feel throughout your body, areas of pain or discomfort. And after you notice those things and do a brief check-in with yourself, I want you to do your best to let those things go. So we're gonna start doing that with a couple of cleansing breaths. So I want you to inhale deeply through your nose and then exhale through an open mouth. Like a big heavy sigh. Good, do that one more time. Inhale through the nose and exhale through the mouth, letting everything go. And then allow the breath to shift low to your belly. So starting to inhale and exhale, making the inhale and the exhale just a little bit longer. So perhaps breathing in for a count of three, breathing out for a count of three. When you breathe in, I want you to think about bringing in new perspective into your mind, into your body. And as you exhale, I want you to think about letting go of anything that's not serving you well today. Inhaling strength. Exhaling areas in your body that feel weak or painful, uncomfortable. Inhaling a sense of ease. Exhaling worry. And then just continuing to breathe deeply here into the low belly, trying your best to match your inhale with your exhale. And if you find it hard to do that, just see if you can lengthen the breath a little bit more than you normally would. Really focusing in on shifting that breath into the lowest part of your belly. So throughout the practice today, there will be invitations for different poses, different things to do. I want you to try meeting yourself where you're at today. So if something does not feel good to you or is not available to you, feel free to take a modification or come back to child's pose or another resting pose of your choice. This is your time to check in with yourself and to do what feels, feels good for you. So breathing deeply for a couple more breaths, let's create an intention or a dedication for your practice today. So something that you'd like to focus on, maybe it's just for taking this time for yourself, for self-care. Knowing that allowing this time for yourself will allow you to serve others better, to be in a better place physically and mentally. Maybe there's someone in your life that needs a little bit of extra TLC. 
So whatever that is, drawing that intention or that dedication into your heart, breathing deeply into it for the next couple of breath cycles. And then we'll take one more cleansing breath. So inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the mouth, nice big heavy sigh. On your next inhale, make your way up to tabletop. So bringing the hands underneath the shoulders, the knees under the hips, pull the belly gently in. From here, let your neck be long. So float the shoulders away from the ears. Then go ahead and drop the belly down. Look forward, come to cow pose, tailbone up. As you exhale, press away from the mat. Tuck your tailbone under, cat pose. And just start to cycle through those two poses, inhaling to cow. Look forward, exhale, tuck and press. Coming into cat. If you want, add some movement, maybe shifting the hips from side to side as you press into cat. Just really flowing with your breath, beginning to create some warmth into the spine. If you want to press into cat and scooch all the way back to extended child's pose, you can do that. Pausing briefly there. Otherwise, just cycling through a few rounds of cat and cow at your own pace, just kind of giving your body what it needs today. Being intentional about relaxing your face and your jaw, letting the tops of the shoulders relax keeping your neck nice and long. And just finishing the cycle that you're on, inhaling to cow, exhaling to cat, and then inhaling, coming back to that neutral spine. Go ahead and take your hands over and up to the left corner of your mat. Take a breath in. As you exhale, sink towards your right heel. So diagonal stretch here, just starting to open and breathe into that right side body. You might even walk your right hand up a little bit higher than your left, if that feels good to you. Take a couple of nice long breaths. Feel that expansion of the back, lower part of your rib cage. Then make your way back up to tabletop, switch sides. So hands move over to the right corner. Breathe in. As you exhale, sink back towards that left heel. And let your head and neck relax here. So maybe resting it on the upper arm if that's available to you. Maybe moving those left fingertips up a little bit higher than the right. Breathing deeply into that lower back part of your rib cage. Making your way back up to tabletop. Find that neutral spine here. Hands underneath your shoulders, knees under the hips. Go ahead and inhale, send your left toes back. So keeping your toes on the mat, I want you to think about tightening up that left glute. Go ahead and float the right palm up. So cross body balance, doing your best to keep your trunk parallel to your mat. Option to float that left heel as long as you're keeping your back flat. On an exhale, we're gonna draw everything to the center. So curling your spine like you do for cat. On an inhale, extend. As you exhale, round and curl to center. Inhale, extend. Belly in, exhale, curl. Inhale, extend. Good, go ahead and set that, those left toes down. Push your right hand down, come over to your right hand and knee. So as you come over to your right hand and knee, we're moving into modified half moon. So you have shoulder over hand alignment. You can float that left arm up if it works for you. The outer edge of your left foot is down. Option to float your left leg, flexing that foot reaching your fingertips up to the sky. If you want to make this a little bit more challenging, you can take an optional hip opener. So you're gonna take that left hand, reaching back for your left foot. Instead of pulling your heel to your butt, I want you to press your foot into your hand. So it's a little bit more opening through the heart and the front of that left hip. If that's not available to you, don't worry about it. Just keep the leg extended or down on the mat. Two more breaths here in modified half moon. Good, if you chose to grab the foot, release it. As you exhale, making your way back to tabletop, inhale to cow pose, heart forward. Exhale to cat. Inhale, neutral spine, tabletop. Exhale, send your right toes back this time. 
Drawing the belly into the spine, float that left palm. Good, if you'd like, option to float that right foot, keeping your foot flexed. So really activating through the back of the right hip. On an exhale, curl to center, drawing everything in. As you inf inhale, mindfully extending, belly in. Exhale, round and curl. Inhale, extend, belly in, exhale, round. Inhale, extend. Good, set those right toes down. Put your left hand down. Come over to your left hand and knee this time. So front body is open to the side wall. Float your right arm up if that works for you. Outer edge of your right foot is down or you can float it up. Foot is flexed. Breathing into the side body. Gaze can be up or down, whatever feels best on your neck. Optional hip opener. You're gonna take that right hand, grab the top outer part of your right foot, press it into the hand, opening your heart, the front of your right hip. Keeping your knee in line with your hip and breathing. Remember, everything in yoga is a choice, so don't feel like you have to do any of this. If you wanna sit in child's pose, it's perfectly fine. Good, releasing that foot, float your hand up, half modified, half moon. Good, as you exhale, release back to tabletop. Inhale, cow pose. Exhale, cat. Inhale, tabletop. Walk your hands forward towards the top edge of your mat. Tuck your toes under, find downward facing dog. Lifting your sit bones up and back. Think about grounding down through your hands and feet. So being mindful of our spacing for down dog, you want to check your spacing by shifting into plank pose. So when you shift into plank from downward facing dog, you shouldn't need to move your hands or feet. So you can check that and then press back to downward facing dog. Spreading your fingers wide, elbow creases turning towards each other, really grounding through the hands and feet. And take a little bit of time here, pedal out your feet, feeling some length into the spine and the back of the legs. If down dog does not work for you for whatever reason, you can always come into tabletop, child's pose, or any other pose of your choice. There's lots of options here. This is not in your practice. Good, from down dog, float forward to plank. So in plank, give that extra push through your mid back. So you're really flattening out the space between your shoulder blades. Draw the belly in, zip the thighs together. Perfectly fine to let your knees come down to the mat, but you're still drawing that belly in. From our toes or our knees, we're gonna practice our chaturanga or low push up. So I want you to lower halfway with your elbows tucked in at your sides. So you're hugging your elbows towards your body, then you're gonna press back up to plank from your toes or your knees. We're gonna try that one more time. Lower halfway, belly tight. Exhale, press back to plank. Good, from plank or on your toes, it's going to look halfway like this. You're keeping your trunk parallel to the mat. Then press back to plank. If you can't maintain that flat trunk position while you're doing that, then drop to your knees. So one more time from your toes or your knees, this time lowering to that low push-up. Release all the way to your tummy. Take the tops of the feet flat and let your arms come down to your sides. Go ahead and turn your left cheek down to the mat. Take a little breather, shifting that breath back into the belly, just connecting with yourself. Notice how you feel. Good, on your next inhale, I want you to lift your chest your head and your arms up, but keep the tops of your feet on the mat. So variation of locust pose here, reaching through your fingertips, pulling the shoulder blades together. Keeping your head and neck in line with your spine here, really focusing in on activating that back body. Continuing to breathe, use your exhale to release, turn your right cheek to the mat. This time I want you to tuck your toes under. On an inhale, lift your chest, your arms and your head up, and then lift your kneecaps up. So toes are tucked under, you're still activating the back of the hips. 
squeezing the shoulder blades together, fingertips reach for the floor. Keep breathing. Being mindful to not hold your breath here. Good, as you exhale, release, turn your left cheek to the mat, uncurl those toes. So any of those variations are perfectly fine. We're gonna run through that one more time. So inhale, float everything up. Option to tuck those toes under or float your feet. So everything reaches for the back. Fingertips reach towards the toes. Shoulder blades pull in and down. Continuing to breathe. Good, one more breath. As you exhale, release. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Tuck the toes under, find downward facing dog, hips high. Bring your feet in so they're about hips distance apart. As you inhale, float your heels up. As you exhale, sink them down towards the mat. One more time, inhale, float your heels. And exhale, sink them down. Look forward towards the top of your mat. Take a walk all the way up to the top of your mat and find forward fold. Forward fold is gonna be rounding in your spine. So just relaxing through the upper body, maybe swaying gently from side to side. You're working towards your chest coming closer to your thighs. So it's perfectly fine to let your knees bend. You might grab opposite elbows here if that feels good. Just beginning to notice some length into the back body. Continuing to breathe. Good, release those fingertips down to the floor. And then move your left hand over to the right ankle or lower leg. Inhale your right arm up. Nice gentle twist from forward fold. Breathing as you twist. One more breath in as you exhale, round and fold. Relax the back of the neck. Good, right hand moves to the ankle or the lower leg. Inhale your left arm up. Gentle twist from the low belly. Good, use your exhale to release back to center. Good, taking your time, press through the feet, rounding up through the spine, really engaging the belly. Once you come to standing, take a few shoulder rolls back, pedal out the feet, and we're gonna come to mountain pose at the top of your mat. So feet are gonna be about fist distance apart, palms are forward broad across the collarbones, shoulder blades draw in and down, belly lifts. As you inhale, sweep your arms forward. As you exhale, right hand grabs onto the left wrist. Take a little side stretch to the right. Breathing into that left side body. One more inhale here, lift up to center. Gently switch your grip, take a side stretch to the left. Gaze is up or down, whatever feels best on your neck. Inhale, back up to center. As you exhale, draw the chest open, elbows towards the sides, opening that front body. Good, inhale, reach your arms high. Exhale, forward fold, lead with your heart. Inhale, flat back, come to halfway lift, belly in. Exhale, round and fold. Inhale, press through the feet. Reach all the way up, look up. Exhale, side stretch to the right. Inhale, lift to center. Exhale, side stretch to the left. Inhale, lift up to center. Exhale, open the chest. Inhale, reach. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, round and fold. Inhale, stand all the way up, look up. Exhale, side stretch to the right. Inhale, lift to center. Exhale, side stretch to the left. Inhale, center. Exhale, open the chest. Inhale, reach. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, stand all the way up. Look up. Exhale, hands to heart center. 
Good, we're gonna move on to sun salutation B today. So you're gonna bring your toes, your big toes to touch, or you can have a little bit of space between your feet. On your next inhale, I want you to find chair pose, Ukatasana. So as you come into chair, being mindful to hinge at your hip creases, like you're sitting back in a chair. Our tendency is to kind of dump into the low back. So find that slight tailbone tuck. Keep your chest lifted. Arms can be floating up, forward, or at heart center. Good, sink a little bit lower if it's available to you. Tailbone is tucked under, your belly is in. Breathe. Good, use your exhale to fold forward. Inhale, flat back, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your hands, step or hop back to plank pose. Two breaths from plank. Good, from your toes or your knees, you're gonna come into that low push-up position. So lower halfway down, press back up to plank. Good, this time we're gonna move through our vinyasa series. So lower halfway, inhale, back bend of your choice. Baby Cobra or Upward Facing Dog. Exhale, press back to Downward Facing Dog, hips high. Good, inhale, right leg high. We're gonna find three-legged dog reaching into that foot. As you exhale, I want you to bring your knee to your nose, round your back, press away from the mat. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, knee to nose, cat back. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, step it forward between your hands. Come up to warrior one. So you're gonna pivot your back heel out about 45 degrees. Walk or sweep your arms up. So as you come into warrior one, those right toes are forward, back foot is slightly turned out. Drop the shoulders down away from the ears. Reach through the fingertips. Continuing to breathe here. Knee tracks over the ankle on that front leg. Pull your belly in. Two more breaths here. We're gonna do a little bit of balancing, taking a nice deep breath in. As you exhale, shift your weight forward onto your front leg, come to warrior three. So your arms are gonna float up next to your ears, allowing that back leg to float up. You can perfectly fine to let the big toe and the back leg touch the floor for a little bit of a prop. Otherwise, you're working towards straightening both knees. The lifted foot is flexed. Those left toes point towards the floor, belly in. Good, if you want an additional challenge, sweep your arms back. Pull your shoulder blades together, palms to the floor. So find that back body activation here. Good, focal points work well for balance poses, yogis. Find something to focus on. Good, release is high lunge. So up on the ball of your back foot, sweeping your arms up. Back knee is straight, knee over the ankle on the front leg. Continuing to breathe. As you exhale, we're gonna take a twist to the right. So you're gonna take your left hand, bring it on the outside of your right knee. Open up your arms nice and wide. Keep lifting through your chest. Additional choice here is going to be a prayer twist. So hands to heart center, hooking your elbow on the outside of that right knee. I want you to do your best to keep lifting through your chest here so you're not collapsing onto that front thigh. Back knee is straight. Good, inhale, high lunge, sweep the arms up. Exhale, open the chest, sink a little bit lower. Inhale, straighten and lift. Exhale, lower down, open your chest. Back knee straight. One more time, inhale, reach. Exhale, lower, open the chest. Good, inhale, sweep those arms up. Exhale, take your hands all the way down to the mat. Step back to plank pose. Two breaths. Good, we're gonna do one of those chaturanga push-ups from your toes or your knees, lower halfway down. Press back to plank. And if you'd like vinyasa series, lower halfway, inhale, baby cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale to downward facing dog. So as we move through those chaturanga push-ups, if you're getting tired, you can skip that whole thing and press back to down dog or child's pose. 
Good, connect with your breath. Let's take a couple of cleansing breaths here. So inhale through the nose. Exhale, big heavy sigh through the mouth. One more time, inhale through the nose. Exhale, sigh it out. So especially just noticing how you feel here. Really allowing the sit bones to lift up and back. Let your heels melt to the ground here. If you find yourself looking hard back at your knees or your feet, try to bring your head and neck in line with your spine. As you ground through your hands, big inhale, left leg reaches high, three-legged dog. As you exhale, knee to nose, cat your back. Press away as much as you can, belly in. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, knee to nose, press and round. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, knee to nose, right leg high. Left leg high. Inhale, left leg all the way up. Exhale, step it forward. Pivot your back heel down, warrior one. I knew you guys knew what I was talking about, so it's all good. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. Back foot is open. So your back foot's at about 45 degrees. Your hips are square to the front in warrior one. Drop those shoulders down. Lift your gaze slightly. Check your breathing here. Make any of those micro adjustments that might intensify the, the pose for you a little bit. Take one more breath in here. As you exhale, shift forward, warrior three. So working towards balancing on that front foot, floating that right leg up, right foot is flexed, toes point towards the floor. Draw your belly in. For an additional challenge, sweep those arms back. Pull the shoulder blades together, open your heart. Relax your face and jaw. Keep breathing, good, release gracefully. High lunge up on the ball of your back foot. Back knee is straight. Opening through that right hip flexor. Continuing to breathe here as you exhale, take a wide arm twist to the left. Keeping your chest open, option for a prayer twist. So bending forward a little bit more, keeping the chest lifted, opening your heart to the side wall. Back knee is straight. Continuing to breathe here, staying active through the legs. Good, inhale, high lunge, sweep your arms up. Exhale, sink a little bit lower, open up the chest. Inhale, lengthen and lift. Exhale, sink and open. Good, one more time. Inhale, lengthen, lift, press through the legs. Exhale, lower down. Good, inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, take your hands down to the mat, step back to plank pose. From plank, one shot around a push-up. Hug those elbows in from your toes or your knees. Lower halfway. Press back to plank. Vinyasa, if you'd like, lower halfway. Inhale, back bend of your choice. Baby cobra or upward facing dog. Exhale, find downward facing dog. Good, release as extended child's pose. Take your big toes together, the knees wide. Sink your hips back towards your heels, forehead to the mat, or to stacked hands. Couple of cleansing breaths here, yogis. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhaling through the nose. Exhaling through the mouth. I want you to recall whatever your intention or your dedication was for your practice today. Bring that back into your heart. And just taking a moment to notice how you're feeling. And then taking a moment of gratitude for your body and everything it does for you each and every day, despite whatever limitations you may have. So 
Good, when you're ready, making your way up to a comfortable seated position. We're gonna do one round of boat pose today. So our feet are gonna be out in front of us. Our chest is gonna be lifted. You can float your palms up. As you exhale, you're gonna to start to hinge back, being mindful to not collapse through your low back. So chest is lifted. This might be your variation of boat. Otherwise, if you want an additional challenge, you're gonna try floating one or both legs up without collapsing through the chest or the spine. You can work towards straight knees or floating your arms up over your head. And we're gonna stay here for about five breaths. So keep lifting your chest up, relax your face and jaw. Continuing to breathe, being mindful of not holding your breath. Good, two more breaths. And we're gonna take our time coming out of it. So slowly set your left foot down. Set your right foot down, keep your palms lifted. Keep breathing, you're still active through that midsection. Then inhale, stretch up nice and tall, lift your chest, lengthen the front body. Good, as you exhale, we're gonna take seated head to knee pose next. You're gonna take that right leg, send it off to the side at about 45 degrees. Your left foot is gonna to come to your inner thigh. And then square your shoulders towards your foot. Take a nice deep breath in, lifting your chest. You're gonna hinge at your hip crease, working towards folding over that right leg. So this is where, this is where you're gonna get your head to your knee. So keep moving in that direction. Feeling a little bit of length into the back of the thigh here. You can turn that whole leg in and out or point and flex your foot if that feels good. And we'll drop the right arm into the center. Reach your left arm up and over, side stretch. So reaching towards that right foot, moving in that direction. Good, big sweep with the arm, breathe in. Coming back to center as you exhale, release and lower. Let's switch sides. So you're gonna extend your left leg out. Your right foot is gonna come to your inner thigh. Shoulders are gonna square towards your foot. Take a breath in. Think about your spine being long. As you exhale, hinge and fold over that straight leg. Relax through the back of the neck. Keep breathing into the back of the thigh here, maybe rotating the leg or pointing and flexing the foot. And we'll drop the left arm into the center, reach the right arm up and over, big side stretch here. Gaze is up or down, whatever feels best on your neck. Relax your face and jaw. Good, big sweep with the right arm coming back to center as you exhale, release it down. Go ahead and bring the soles of your feet to your mat. Float your palms up like we did for boat pose, but this time we're just gonna engage our belly, take our time and come all the way down to the mat. So you're gonna take as long as you can to come down onto your back. Good. Once you're on your back, just releasing here, Bringing your arms down at your sides. For our inversion today, we're gonna to take active bridge pose. So you're gonna walk your shoulder blades underneath you. Keep your feet in line with your hips. On an inhale, I want you to float your hips high, as high as you can, kind of puffing out your chest if it's available to you. Maybe even walking your shoulder blades underneath you a little bit more, clasping the hands together underneath the sacrum. If you want an additional challenge for your bridge pose today, you can try floating your left leg without collapsing through your right hip. Keep pressing into that right leg. Good, release the left leg, both hips high. Breathe, inhale, float your right leg. Continuing to breathe, good. Release and lower, both hips high and hold. Good, slowly unclasp your hands. If you have them together, release the shoulders, release the hips. Go ahead and draw the knees into the chest. Just massage out your low back a little bit here. Good, 
Maybe make some small circles on your mat through your low back. And then from here, go ahead and let your legs drop to the left side. You can take your arms either out to a T if you have space or out to goalpost arms. And then from here, go ahead and turn your gaze to the right. Shoulder blades are gonna stay connected to the mat here. Little gentle overpressure, you might set that your hand on the top of that right thigh if that feels good. And just allow your eyes to close here. Think about really breathing into the side body. Good, on an exhale, go ahead and slowly move the legs back into the center. One more time, knee hug in, pulling your knees into the chest. Breathing in on an exhale, let your legs fall to the right side. And then reach your arm, left arm out, turning your gaze to the left. Once again, shoulder blades stay connected to the mat here. Take a nice couple of slow, deep breaths, inhaling through the side. And as you release, coming back to center, setting the soles of your feet on the mat. We're going to move into reclining pigeon pose today. So you'll take that left leg, cross it over the right. Just allow the left knee to drop out to the side here, finding that figure four position. And then if you'd like, drawing the legs in, grabbing behind the right thigh. And taking any modifications here, you might rock a little bit from side to side. Maybe you bend and straighten that right knee. Or circle out the ankles, whatever feels good for you. Feeling a stretch into the back of the hip and the outer thigh. Continuing to take those nice, long, slow, deep breaths. Really staying here in this moment. When you're ready, slowly uncrossing the legs. Switching sides, crossing right over left this time. Just gently pressing the right leg out to the side. If you'd like drawing the legs in and then adding any additional movements that might feel good for you here. And uncrossing the legs, drawing the knees in one more time, this time taking them out a little bit wider towards the shoulders. And if you practice happy baby or wide leg straddle, you can move into that, reaching down for the instep of your feet and just pressing your feet up towards the ceiling. And maybe alternate straightening one knee at a time, getting into the hamstrings a little bit, the inner thighs. If that's not available to you, then just drawing the knees in towards the shoulders. And then when you feel ready, extending your legs all the way out, reaching your arms up above your head, take a full body stretch here. Nice deep breath in. And then on your exhale, release your arms down at your sides. Tuck the shoulder blades underneath you. Let your feet and ankles relax and fall out comfortably to the sides of your mat. Come into your final relaxation, Shavasana Corpse Pose. So this is really the pose that we've all been waiting for. This is your time to lay on your mat and just allow yourself to be here. Put a pause on any mind chatter. Let go of any remaining tension that you feel. Softening across your face and your jaw. Let your mouth fall slightly open. 
Let your tongue relax. Let the ground support you here. Allowing your body and mind to be at peace for a few moments. You are safe. You are supported. You are strong. You are loved. Briefly noticing your breath, the gentle rise and fall of the belly as you inhale and exhale. And then doing your best to release all thoughts. Just allowing yourself to be here in this moment without anything to do. Peace.